Uh, here's another British ballad. Um, nobody's really sure how ancient it is, but it's pretty ancient. It um, was known in England in Elizabethan times. Uh, there are some theories that it's an English version of a uh, 13th century German cycle of songs. There's another theory that it's from 9th century Iceland. Uh, finally, another theory that it actually came from Asia, uh, brought west by the Magyars when they came out of Asia into uh, into Europe. Um, <coughs> the uh, There's a difference between the British and American versions of the song. In the British version, the uh, the guy, the Sir John um, is usually some kind of a supernatural being, an elf or some kind of a spirit or something like that. Um, in American versions, he's generally just a man. Um, in fact, the sort of the standard name for the English version is uh, Lady Isabel and the Elf Knight. Uh, here's the false Sir John. The false Sir John a wooing came to a maiden young and fair. May Calvin was his lady's name and her father's only heir. Her father's only heir. He wooed her while they spun the thread and while they made the hay. Until he gained his love's consent to up and ride away. To up and ride away. It's bring me some of your father's gold and some of your mother's fee. I'll take thee to some far off land and married we shall be. And married we shall be. She's gone into her father's coffers where all his money lay. She's took the yellow and she's left the white and lightly slipped away. And lightly slipped away. She's gone into her father's stables where all his steeds did stand. She's took the best and left the worst in all her father's lands. In all her father's lands. She's mounted upon the milk white steed and he on the dapple gray. And they rode till they come to a lonesome spot, a cliff by the side of the sea. A cliff by the side of the sea. Light down, light down, said false Sir John, your bridal bed you see. Tis seven women ever drowned here, and the eighth one you shall be. The eighth one you shall be. Have off, have off your hall and smock with borders all around. For it's too fine and costly to rot on the cold, cold ground. To rot on the cold, cold ground. Have off, have off your silk so fine, and lay them on a stone, for they are far too costly to rot in the salt sea foam, to rot in the salt sea foam. Take off, take off your silken stays, likewise your satin shoes, for they are far too costly to rot in the sea with you, to rot in the sea with you. Turn around, turn around, oh false Sir John, for to gaze at the leaves on the trees, for it don't become a gentleman, a naked woman to see, a naked woman to see. So it's false Sir John has turned around, for to gaze at the leaves on the trees, she's made a dash with her tender little arms and pushed him into the sea, she's pushed him into the sea. Oh, help, oh, help me, Calvin, oh, help, or I shall drown. I'll take thee to thy father's house and lightly set thee down, and lightly set thee down. No help, no help, oh, false Sir John, no help will you get from me. The bed's no colder to you, sir, than you thought to give unto me, you thought to give unto me. She's mounted upon the milk-white steed and led the dapple gray, and she rode till she come to her father's house at the breaking of the day, at the breaking of the day. 
And then up spoke the little parrot, says me, Colvin, where have you been? And what's become of the false Sir John, who went with you right in? Who went with you right in? Hold your tongue, hold your tongue, you little parrot, and tell no tales on me. And I'll give you a cage of beaten gold, spokes of ivory, spokes of ivory.